Hey everybody, what is going on? Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and I'm getting ready to get out of the car. It's about 5.30 in the morning. I'm going to do a little quick wade session right here. Right here in Texas City. I'm at the Texas City Dyke. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that. If you... Um, if you're a customer liking videos, then I suggest you like this one as well. Um, I'll give you a few minutes. You know, the sun isn't up quite up yet. Uh, so I have a little few. I have a couple minutes to give you so you can uh, like this video. So I'll, I'll wait on you. Excuse me. I have a peppermint in my mouth. Nothing like great minty breath when you are coming out here. I'm gonna fish what is known as a mosquito island. And there is a bunch of little mosquitoes waiting for me right outside my window. I bought some live shrimp. I'm gonna be throwing it on this coastal cork again. And I'm gonna see what I can catch. I'm meeting a Patreon up here today. I actually put an open invite to all my Patreons. So if that's something you're interested in, open invites, fish reports, all that stuff. Uh, I'll be putting this fish report on that Patreon page probably in the morning. So if that's something you're interested in and further support the channel, then join Patreon today. Like I said, I did throw an open invite to all my Patreons. Anybody want to meet me? This going to be a real quick wait session. Uh, I do have one guy that's coming, one, one Patreon's coming, one viewer, one subscriber. So anyway, I'm going to get my gear together. I'm going to put my little light on my hat so i can see in the dark and uh i'm gonna start fishing oh look there's a mosquito already little guys they everywhere Saltwater soul bait bucket. Not really, they don't make it. Just do a sticker on it. Now it's a saltwater soul bait bucket. Have a J hook today, octopus style hook. Um, the other day I was out, I was using a kale hook. Kind of, you know, look. The water just came across here. It could be a barge that's going out. While well, you have that little bit of water movement coming across now that came from that came from nowhere. But water level just went down some but yeah i'm exploring a little bit um trying to uh figure out which which hook i'm gonna like best <clears throat> something good <sighs> something heavy maybe a trout might be undersized red might be a big big hearted honestly but we'll see kind of feels like already but we'll see Holding it down like a red, and not coming up like a trout. Oh, big old gap top. <laughs> oh, big gap top. But there he is. Nice big old gap top. Early morning bite. Gap top city, baby. So get this guy off this fish right there oh there we go there we go little he's small he's real small but he took the hook finally somebody take the hook gone on uh, the gone through some shrimp 
Hello, Sandy. Little, little baby. That's good bait right here. I'll put you on and catch you a big old gap top. <laughs> Ouch! Little sand trout. This might be the only fish of the day, so it's always best to show them. <laughs> you can never have too much footage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There we go. Okay. There we go. Let's see. A uh, little, little better. A little better. But he gave up quick, so small shoulders. He ain't gonna be that that good of a deal. Might be a little speckler. Or it might be another hard head. He's kind of holding down. No, it's a speck. He's going to keep, I think. Bring him in here. There he goes. Ooh, baby. What did I tell you about that early morning bite, baby? But that's a nice one. It's about, maybe about 16, 17 inches. That's a good guy. Gonna... Nice guy there. Hope he didn't swallow it. Who's this guy right here? Who's that? It's a stranger trying That's to catch a stranger. Look at this deer. guy. This guy's a pot licker. He's part of the pot licking crew. There you go. Look at that. You got him? I think so. Is he on? Yeah, he's a little one. No such thing as a little oh, one. I think he's on there. I don't know. Nope. Oh! <laughs> he caught a shrimp. What do you got? Man, we're on all the sandy. But there's specks here. They gotta be. Can all be sand trout. We can't all be sand trout. Right. We'll get a fish on. Can we make it a official that I have a bite? Gotta be a little one. You do? You get a baby. Oh, baby's having babies. Oh, a croaker. That's a, that's a, there we go. That's a tournament winner. <laughs> uh, little guy, little, little, little guy, little guy, little guy. Another sandy. Man, what are these specs at? I ain't coming for no sand trout. I am coming for speckled trouters. And, and here's a little tip when you are wade fishing is do not wipe your hands after you handle the fish on your clothes. Put them in the water, keep rubbing them, get them off. Don't don't let yourself smell like a like like a fish because um, there's a lot of sharks out here. And I recently had a viewer uh, tell me that he had a he had a seven foot shark, bull shark, swim up to him real close. He had to slap the shark in the nose with his rod several times to get him to back away. And uh, that's probably because he smelled like. And trust me, they smell your bait in your bait bucket. They smell, them. and they smell your fish on the stringer, and so they already have a heightened sense of your awareness. But they also smell the food that's around you. So just uh, food for thought. Don't wipe your hands on your clothes. Yeah. I think that's a rat. No! Oh, that was a good one. Oh, that was a good one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He hit it so hard. He's small though. Man, sometimes when they whack it and then you set that hook, get a couple cranks on the reel, you're like, oh yeah, it's a little guy. But man, he whacked it good. Dang it. It's a speck though. See, that's why the hit was different. Little speckler. Little speckler, little speckler. Oh, 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 don't do that to yourself, buddy. Tear yourself up. Since I cast over here, that was one. So we can get lucky again. Just, uh, seen a lot of sand trout. Water's kind of dirty, though. Not as clean as, uh, not that speckled trout clean. Don't mean that they can't be caught in dirty water, but odds are not in your favor start hooking up throwing in a little spot right there it looks like there's a little bit of current coming off of this off of this side so you know fish all fish like current so we'll see fish, fish on right there got him oh go over here jose oh that's a little baby red nice little baby red good change of pace fish get you off there there you go, little baby. He gone. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, another little small red. 
with speckles on it. <laughs> oh. There we go. It's a nice little guy. Probably close to 15, I think. I'm gonna Uh, he might be a little short. Yeah, I think he's closer to... He might be closer to 14 than 15, but... I'm gonna make it be safe than sorry. All right, everybody, so that's gonna be it. You know, Jose, who's a Patreon, you know, I threw an open invite out on Patreon, and uh, well, Jose decided to come out and join me this morning. Yeah. You know, got, got here at sunrise, and we both have live shrimp, and I mean, what was, what was your best fish you caught today? The croaker. Croaker, the big croaker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it's just one of those days, you know, uh, the water's a little dirty, uh, the wind picked up a little bit and got a little dirty, but you know, hoping for some specs. I think I caught two, well, at least one slot spec. I think the other one was a slot as well. Had another big gap top and had something else nice hit and get off. But yeah, we're out here at Texas City Dyke. You know, try the best we could, but we're gonna pack it in. And this spot, uh, most people label this as Mosquito Island. It could turn on and be real hot and then it could turn off pretty quick. But hey, you know what? If you like this video, please hit like if you, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, I have a Patreon page you can join today. This fishing report will be up hopefully by tomorrow. So if this is the kind of interest stuff you're interested in, then click in the link below. Click that Patreon page and join today. You can be just like Jose. You got to get on that Patreon. Everybody else, thanks for watching. And hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Right on.